today I want to get into V hitting or clapping back at staff. I want to get into the rumors of V and Jenny at the Keynes Film Festival, and then rumors of the two being intimate together there. And then we have the Celine director confirming his relationship with V, and what event will V actually be attending? So hey, dumb, this is David Desai, hater or not, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on, grab your dumb plates, peacefully my porch, and let's go. Armies have been very still distraught over BTS going on a hiatus, and many of the fandom still goes over a lot of old BTS moments to rewatch when all the BTS members were together. And I will say, please don't be so anxious or hurt that BTS is not touring together or whatever. Just go along for the ride, and they will be back together in another year or two. This way you won't get too sad that they're not together now, but you get a chance to just enjoy what each of the individual members have to offer. However, going back to old BTS moments, there are moments where we see BTS interact with their staff and some of those moments are recirculating again. Armies are often re-watching a lot of Run BTS moments and one of those moments or episodes involves the members playing with the staff, or in this case, the Game Master. And you have to beat them and they would also assign the game which the boys play. Shuga would play Rock, Paper, Scissor and he would lose pretty often to this Game Master. Shuga eventually left and was like, enough of this guy, I can't beat him. Many people were saying these were moments in which BTS members wanted to fight or hit their staff and I think that is hilarious. Obviously they would never actually hit their staff, but we have all had moments where we probably really wanted to do that. Another moment which was absolutely hilarious actually involved V during that episode when the members played games. They had a time limit to how long they can spend on that specific episode, and so V is really bad at, at a very specific game called Capital City. V was frustrated that the Game Master gave V this game and asked why Capital City again. I think this is hilarious, and of course at this moment I am sure V was really annoyed at the staff. However, of course the staff is going to pick the game he is not best at as this makes for the most interesting episode and it makes it fun to watch. I love seeing our boys struggle with games and watching these moments are so cool because you can see how the boys react when they're in a stressful situation and each member is extremely competitive. I do react to some of these run BTS moments over on Patreon. We have a fun time laughing, fangirling, and joking around watching these episodes. If you're interested in checking that out, I will link that in the description. There's currently a $1 tier that is open, so I hope to see you there. But anywho, it's not rare to see V acting super funny and cute with his staff members. Well, I am sure in that specific from BTS episode, he was quite distraught and maybe seemed like he wanted to fight the other staff. In other moments, he remains even more playful and jokes around. We have a moment also where he does not clap or hit back at the staff, and he even plays with his staff. One of the other times Tang was in Paris, he literally played basketball with his bodyguard. This actually became big news and people couldn't believe how close Taehyung gets to the people around him. Taehyung has been in Paris recently and there's been a lot of stuff going on while he is there. He even posted a story of a note that Peter Utz gave him. The note welcomed Taehyung to Keynes, a city in Paris, and said how grateful they were that Taehyung had arrived. Immediately, the media and armies erupted with rumors that Tang will be going to the Keynes Film Festival. If you are unaware of what the festival is and what it entails, let me explain. This is an international film festival, and film festivals typically air independent films that don't have a big studio behind the film. And the films that do get in are highly prestigious, and chances are will go ahead and then get made into bigger things. So movies like Shrek and many other big films that have gone to be classics have come from a film festival similar to Kane. So it's a big deal to industry people and helps filmmakers find funding for their projects. So even if they don't win the festival, they can still be discovered by industry producers or directors to decide to fund and make the film bigger or get into a big movie studio. Keynes, unlike many other film festivals, are invite only. And so it was rumored over this note that this was Tam confirming that he will attend. And then it was believed that Jenny would appear as well since they're both in Paris. It makes sense because both of them are in the area and that is really the biggest event that is currently happening there. 
So could they both be there for that? However, the film festival seems quite odd for Tang to be there. He isn't in any films, and I don't entirely know if there are any K-pop films being aired at Cannes. So the idea that Tang could be there to support an actor friend would be less likely. There were a lot of theories, and one of them being that Tang is not attending. The note that the Celine director wrote to Tan welcomes Tan to Cannes, which is just a city in Paris. It doesn't welcome Tan to any specific event. A fashion director is typically not invited to events like that because the event usually only invites journalists and film industry experts. So producers and other film directors can then take the film that are entered in the festival and take it to the next level. My theory actually is that the Celine director, Peter, actually confirmed that Tan will not be going. I don't 100% know because Tan could have still gotten an invite some other way, but I don't really believe the post that Tan posted implied that he was actually going to be there. This is also not really a fashion event. It's not like Celine would gain advertising from this event. Like, I don't know if there's any sort of red carpet for visitors, maybe for the actors. This rumor ended up being posted by a lot of news sites and people really thought he was going. Now, Jenny attending the festival makes some sense, I think. Jenny was a part of an HBO movie or show called The Idol, and this featured The Weeknd and many other big celebrities. So the idea that Jenny could be in another film or movie that might be more independent is definitely possible. And she could be there to support her own film or be there with some of her other American actor friends. And this is different as Jenny has more American celebrity friends that she is able to communicate with. Since there was a rumor that Tang and Jenny were together and they were allegedly seen holding hands together in Paris, many did think that they were going to be attending the Keynes event together and this rumor carried on and people began worrying about Tang's safety. There's been rumors that Sasings or stalkers were following Tang all around Paris and were planning on sneaking into the Keynes festival to attack Tang and of course to attack Jenny as well. And this is a lot of speculation going on. First off, I don't know if Tan is even going, let alone if Jenny is even going. And then second of all, we don't even know if they were going, would be going together. If they are dating, they're clearly not out publicly. They're still trying to hide that. So in an area where there are some journalists there and 12,000 other industry professionals, they would likely pretend like they don't know each other. And then second of all, this is to assume that in these big events like Canes or whatever, a stalker would be able to just waltz in. These are invite only events and a stalker would have to be a bodyguard or some sort of industry professional. And being an industry professional is hard enough. It's extremely difficult to become a well-known director or producer to even get invited to such an event, to then risk your own career that you've likely worked on for 10 plus years just to leak photos of Tan and Jenny. I don't know if anyone would do that. Rumors of what Tan and Jenny might be doing in public came out, and people were saying that the two are kissing and being intimate. Well, if they're dating, then yeah, they're probably being intimate, but who cares? They can do whatever they want. I do think that the two are allowed to date, so they can do whatever they want. But also, as we can see, Tan has a lot of stuff going on. If Celine is sending a note to welcome Tan to Paris, Celine must have some plans for Tan, and that is why he is there. Jenny would also be in Paris for a specific reason as well. They really wouldn't have too much time to spend canoodling with each other. If the video of V and Jenny holding hands is real, then they had a short hour or two to spend time with each other and be cute, but then that is it. They then had to go back to their schedules. We can even see it in the alleged leaked video that they were both followed by their managers and team members, meaning the point of this trip wasn't to be spending a day together, but was for business. Because if it was personal, the manager would not be there. Managers are humans too with their own lives. If this was not work-related, the managers would not want to be there, but be with their own friends and family. I think a lot of people have this fantasy in their head that celebrities or some millionaires just have all the time in the world and could do whatever they want. And that is rarely the case. For people like Tan and many celebrities who started out poor, they have to work for their money. And honestly, they really don't have the opportunity to chill out and relax. They have to work, so that is why they are in a foreign city. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks to this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.